Hello everyone, this is Julia. Welcome to my channel, Yoga with Julia Wiley. Over on my left, your right, is Lucy, who is our resident expert at relaxing. Um, today's yoga is going to be a very gentle stretch to release tension for anxiety and stress relief. And we're going to start off just taking a few deep breaths, just in and out through the nose if you can. You can close your eyes if you like. Just bring your attention onto the breath. Try and take long, slow inhales and exhales, having the inhale and the exhale about the same length. And try to make your breath very quiet, as if you were hiding from a lion. So smooth, long, slow and quiet breaths. This is very soothing for the body, calming for the mind. And then bring your left hand to the top of your head and gently let the weight of your arm carry your head over to the left. And then you can take your other hand, just gently massage the sides of the neck here. The neck and the shoulders are areas that carry a lot of tension. So just gently release it. And then we'll do the other side. So right hand on the top of your head, bring your left hand up, just very gently ease out any knots or tension. Now with me today, I have a little bit of essential oil. This is great to help you relax if you do have any. Um, this is rose, you can use rose or lavender or anything that you find soothing. Just a little bit on your hands. Mm, I feel so pampered whenever I use that, it's lovely. Not too much, you don't want to be too greasy, but bring your hands onto your forehead. Just do little circles round and round, keeping the breath smooth. Take your hands very slowly out to the temples. You can press a little harder here if it feels good. This is another tension point. And then onto the tops of your ears, massage your ears and down to the ear lobes. Give them a little gentle tug. And then go down the back of the neck smoothing it out and onto the tops of the shoulders. That should feel wonderful. And then give yourself a big hug here. Now inhale, releasing the arms. Exhale, hug yourself. Inhale, release. And exhale, hug and release down. Now take your left hand to the side, right arm up to the ceiling, stretch out long, and then lean over to the left, just to the place that feels wonderful. That your body's thanking you for this lovely stretch. And then bring your right hand onto the knee, other hand behind you, sit up with a nice straight spine, and then on the next exhale, press into a twist, looking back and try and ring out the whole spine from the base right up to the neck, keeping the breathing smooth. And release, and we'll do the other side. So slide your right arm out, left hand stretches up, planting left hip into the mat, lean a bit over to the side. And if you can, gaze up towards the ceiling. And then bring that hand onto the knee, right hand behind you, sit up tall, inhale, and exhale, gently press into a lovely twist, looking back. You notice your eyes can go even further around than your head. Breathing stays nice and deep. And release, give yourself a little bit of a shake out. And then take your shoulders up, squeeze them, up to your ears now. Inhale through your nose and as you release them, exhale through your mouth. 
Let's do that two more times. So inhale, squeeze, squeeze your hands as well. Exhale, release, spreading the fingers wide. One more time, inhale, and <sighs> exhale, letting all that tension go. Wonderful. We're gonna come over now onto our hands and knees and then take your hips back towards your heels, walk your hands out in front and let your head rest down for child's pose. Feel yourself melting down into the mat with each exhale. And then walk yourself around to one side for a little twist, letting your hips go in the other direction a little bit. And then walk yourself around the other side. Again, hips go in the opposite direction. So you should feel a lovely stretch all the way down the side of the body. And come back again to the center one more time. Walk your hands out, let your forehead rest down on your mat or on the carpet. Take a breath. And then ease yourself up and come to sitting. The legs out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall, reach the arms up, stretch long, and then bring yourself forward as far as you can reach, wherever that may be. Let your hands rest on your legs or your feet or on the mat. And let your head just relax down and relax your feet. You can shake your legs back and forth a couple of times. So we're not pulling down into a forward fold, but just relaxing down. Let your head completely go here. You can close your eyes if you like. This is the yin yoga version of this pose. So we just relax into it. And then very slowly ease yourself up and come down onto your back, bend your knees, hug them into your chest and let yourself gently rock side to side. It's like a little massage on the back. Bring your knees close to your body. And then a little bit further away. And then to the ends of your fingertips. And notice how that changes where the pressure of your back is on the mat. So if you have any tight areas of the spine, you might like to concentrate on that area. And then let your feet come down to the mat, having your thighs hip width apart. So don't let your knees splay out now as you push your hips up towards the ceiling for bridge pose. Getting your hips as high as you can so your weight is all on your feet and your shoulders. And then if you like, you can clasp your hands underneath and squeeze the shoulder blades together. And again, take a couple of breaths here. And then bring your hands over your head, hold on to your elbows and slowly walk your spine down one vertebra at a time, starting from your upper back and then the middle back and finally the lower back comes down so your back is nice and flat on the mat or the carpet and bring your hands down by your sides and let the knees just flop over to one side gently like windshield wipers in a car and take a few breaths here and let the knees come up and then just flop over gently to the other side. This is great for releasing the lower back, which is another area of the body we can tend to hold, a lot of tension. So imagine sending your breath down to the lower back. And then bring the knees back up to the center and gently bring yourself all the way up to sitting. Bring your feet together now for cobbler's pose and gently press the knees out to the sides without bouncing them up and down. You don't want to overstretch the tendons. 
So some people's knees just naturally flop to the floor, others are up here, and it doesn't matter, just listen to the body. If it feels quite uncomfortable, you can even bring a couple of cushions underneath the knees here. And another wonderful thing to do is, again, if you have that essential oil, a couple of drops, and you can massage your hard working feet. Let's take a big breath now. So just cross your legs, reach overhead, stretch long, and exhale. Take your elbows out to the side. So you're lifting the chest, lifting your chin. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, take the arms back, fallen angel. Now bring the arms forward into a hug. So you're rounding the spine like a cat curl. And then open your arms and curve your spine into that wolf pose or cow pose. So again, exhale as you round the spine and inhale, expanding. One more time, exhale, squeeze and inhale, take it back out. One more time, inhale, reach overhead and exhale down. Namaste everyone. I hope you're feeling great. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and I hope to see you again soon. Please leave me comments in the section below as well and anything else you'd like me to make. Bye for now.